Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest report from the Tribune, Indian Air Force wants HL to speed up the production of LCA Mark 1A to meet up the contractual obligation. The Indian Air Force, HL and the Department of Defense Production of Ministry of Defense were part of a high-level meeting review in April 2023. As per contract, HL is required to deliver first three aircraft in 2024 and 16 aircraft annually for next five years. The Ministry of Defense is also considering order for additional 50 LCA Tejas Mark 1A. Now, this is very critical for Indian Air Force, which is losing its fighter jet squadrons at a faster pace but not able to replenish them. The Indian Air Force is currently down to 31 fighter squadrons as against the sanctioned strength of 42 squadrons which is set to dwindle further as the remaining 3 MiG-21 squadrons are phased out by 2025. This will be followed by phasing out of 6 squadrons of aging Jaguar fleets starting from 2025 and continuing till 2032. By late of the next decade, 3 squadrons each of upgraded Mirages and MiG-29 fleets would be scheduled to be phased out. At the same time, the deal to procure 12 additional Su-30 MKIs to replace the lost ones in accident and 21 MiG-29s from Russia has been stuck. The MRFA program to procure 114 fighter jets under Buy Global and Make in India has still not reached the acceptance of necessity stage. So, Considering all this situation, the only quick solution at the hand for Indian Air Force is the indigenous bird that is LCA Tejas Mark 1A. HL has now three assembly complexes for LCA which can take its production rate to 24 aircrafts per year. So there is no reason why HL cannot deliver 16 aircrafts per year. Talking about LCA Mark 1A, it has significant improvement over Tejas Mark 1. It will be better armed, will have superior survivability and avionics and easy to maintain with better turnaround time. The aircraft will have an upgraded version of the FOC configuration of Mark 1 with 80% of detail components being the same. TS Mark 1A will have 43 improvements over Mark 1 version. At present, the LCA is equipped with 344 systems out of which 210 are indigenous and 134 are imported. However, in Mark 1A, the imported systems will be reduced to just 80. Many line replacement units will be repositioned and new LRUs are to be included too, keeping in mind the maintenance easiness. Indian Air Force wants airframe panels that can be replaced without taking too much time and these will be supplied to Indian Air Force with quick release fasteners. Now, talking about improvements, some of the major ones include the upgrade of AAC radar, installation of self-protection jammer, software defined radio, enhanced software capability and computing power, and electronic warfare suite that includes a jammer, a combined integrator and transponder, an IFF plus system, and a digital map generator. The LCTS Mark 1A can carry payload of 5,300 kg and can carry various missiles like R-73, IDRB, Python, SRAM, Astra Mark 1 and R-77. Tejas has already been integrated with Israel's IDRB ER and Python 5 missiles. The IDRB ER missile is a long-range air to missile having operational range of up to 100 km with maximum speed of Mach 4 and two-way data link. The Python 5 is the newest member of Israeli Python family of short-range air to missile with a range of 20 km. The developmental trials for both Astra Mark 1 and SRAM is planned to be complete before delivery of this Mark 1A starts. The carriage as well as captive trials of both the missiles are complete and next set of user and developmental trials is expected. The LCDS Mark 1A's internal fuel capacity is around 2458 kg while its external fuel capacity is 2201 kg. The Mark 1A has a 500 km of combat range, ferry range of 3200 km. It has service ceiling of 52,500 feet. The Mark 1A comes with indigenous electronic warfare suite 
which comprises of a DAW warning receiver, integrated self-protection jammer, chaff and flare dispenser, and BVR missile capabilities, which is going to boost the Indian Air Force capabilities. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.